So what's funny is the clips, like I'm not exactly certain how they work, but I totally want to turn them into like a Christmas ornament because these suckers have cost me so much hell, I can't even tell you. go in to have my G tube converted to a GJ tube which is what it was supposed to be to start with but they couldn't get the J portion of it in so I've been living with a G for almost six weeks now um in the six weeks that I've had the G I've learned a lot of things that I didn't know before the surgery you know you think you ask all the right questions you think you have all the right information and then it's never like that so I'm going to share um, some of the things that I have learned that I wish I would have known for the surgery. If I would have known these things, would I have opted not to have the surgery? No, that was never an option. So um, just hoping to get a little bit more information out there so you guys hopefully don't have to go through the stuff that I did. Um, okay, so tubey pads is the first thing. Um, so I found out about those. Okay, so there are these little circles. I wonder if I get on my knees. Oh, that's so much better. Okay, so they're little bitty circles of fabric. They're two-sided, every color that you can possibly imagine. Um, okay, so they are regular fabric on one side. And then super, super soft, awesome fabric on the other side. And so they have a hole cut out for the tube and you snap it into place at the top. Um, and so it stays. So like all the little crusties and whatever that you have around the tube, it gets on this instead of getting on your clothes or um, gooping up or whatever. Um, I wear about two a day, so since it's still new for me and it takes me forever to heal, I'm wearing it overnight. So, um, it just keeps off my pajamas and whatever else. And then I wear one during the day, um, as well. Like I change it. Um, so about two a day. So I've got one on now. Hold on. <sighs> okay. So see how it goes around and you just, Pop it off if you want to change it and I'll leave it off for the rest of this chitty chatty. Um, okay, hold on, I forgot something. Okay, um, and these are in no particular order so it's not like the worst or the best or whatever it is. Um, so the next thing is the bumper. Um, I have like a, almost like a X shaped bumper. Um, so it's the bigger section on the outside. Like you have the balloon on the inside, then you have a bumper on the outside. So it kind of like holds it all in place. Um, my muscle contractions have been super, super hard and it has, it squeezes the tube like pulls it into my body and then kicks it back out. And it's just, it's been a lot to deal with. And something that I wish I would have known from the beginning is that the bumper moves. So, so this is my bumper. Um, so you can see sizes here, 10, eight, six, four is underneath the bumper. And so you can actually move the bumper Hold on a second. Get all this hooked up a little better here. Um, so this, you can move it down so that it sits flush to your body again, that if it goes in and out, you can absolutely adjust it. I so wish I would have known that one. I had several days that that really would have helped me 
if I would have known that I could adjust it um, because it was flopping in and out so much. It was aggravating my stoma. It was super frustrating. Um, okay, the weight of the tube is more than I expected. And so I keep it taped pretty much all the time. Um, sometimes in the shower, I'll take off the tape just so I can give my skin a little bit of time to uh, breathe. Um, I have trouble if I tape it over here. It just feels awkward and it ends up like digging into my thigh when I sit down. And so I haven't really taped it over here so most of it's been on this side. And something that I absolutely had to think of was when I shower I can't put lotion on that edge or on that side. Um, because I've forgotten a couple times and then the tape just literally pulls right off. So that's super frustrating. Um, I've tried paper tape and I've tried cloth tape. So that's 3M cloth tape. It was stuff that I was given in the hospital and then I have paper tape that was shipped with my infusion supplies and so I had extra tape from that. Um, that works out super duper good. Um, okay. So weight of the tube. And then when I go in for my GJ tomorrow, um, I'm really hoping that the tube, like the external tube portion, doesn't weigh a heck of a lot more because this one is already super heavy. Then if I don't have it taped or the tape, or the tube is sliding inside the tape, it, it's heavy. I mean, it really, really pulls. And it was, it was more noticeable at the very beginning because it was irritating my stoma. Um, and it's funny because only one part of my stoma has been irritated, like just the right side. Who knows why? Um, my stoma is doing good. It is um, healing super well. Let me see if I can zoom in and show you. Um, maybe that way. Beep. I really should have tied that up. But I didn't, so y'all get to deal with it. Oh, oh. There we go. Okay. So that is my stoma. My tape's already given up, so it's pulling. And so that's the bumper part that you can change in and out. So it's a little irritated on one side. That's it, I'm doing pretty good. And so you can see these. So I've got one here, and I've got one here, and I've got one up there. Okay. Okay, so now we're gonna talk about sutures and clips. So before the surgery, I had asked my interventional radiologist who, and my health system is the ones that actually placed GJs and Gs, and he, because I asked him, I was like, how does everything hold together? Like, it just didn't make any sense to me. And he said there were three sutures that were placed in like a triangle type pattern. So two to the top and one on the bottom. And he said that there are like metal clips used and then sutures that run all the way out. So I thought the metal clips were gonna be on the inside. And like, that's what I was picturing, so I was super confused when I woke up and they were on the outside. So, these are the clips. I don't know. Let me get it here. So that's one. There we go. Okay, so this is the metal clip. This side is the side that sat flush to my body. And so, the suture runs from inside your stomach, through your stomach, through your abdominal wall, and then out. And so it's fed through the metal clip. This sits flush against your body, and then, very hard to hold. And then that part is what sits on the outside. Um, so there's three of them. And um, so I was told that they hoped that the sutures would last 
two to three weeks um, to try to give everything like a good time, you know, to heal and, you know, attach all together like they're supposed to be and whatnot. Um, so at five weeks, I don't get rid of, I don't get rid of sutures. Like me and my body, I don't know what it is with sutures, but we fight horrible with sutures. Um, and we hate it. Um, so at five weeks, I had still not gotten rid of any of my sutures and clips. So I was super worried that they weren't going to come out, that I was going to get infections from them and whatnot. And then, um, right at five weeks, I was doing something and I messed with one of the clips to clean underneath it, I think was what it was. And it popped off and I was so ecstatic. And then the next day, um, I knew they had to be somewhat close because it, you know, one had fallen off. It had already been five weeks. And so I gently encouraged the other two to come out. Um, and they both popped out, which was so amazing. So the little three holes that are next to my tube, um, that's the sutures and clip marks. And normally they heal and whatnot, but I don't know if they'll always be like sucked in a little bit like they are now. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Um, so what's funny is the clips, like I'm not exactly certain how they work, but I totally want to turn them into like a Christmas ornament because these suckers have caused me so much hell. I can't even tell you. Um, okay, so... Let me get a tube pad back on and then we are going to discuss complications. Okay, so you slide it in like this. Ugh. And then you snap it in place and that's it. Okay, I'll be right back to you, hold on. 